What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the King Sense channel. Now this is the place where we appreciate and also celebrate the art of fragrances. We got three goals on this channel, which are be your best, look your best, and of course, smell your best. Now my job is to help you to do that. So if that's something that has your attention, show your support by hitting that like button, leaving a comment, and or subscribe to the channel. Come and be a part of the family. We would love to have you. I hope everybody has had a blessed week, blessed weekend, and I wish you many more. Now, let's get on to the feature presentation. All right, so today, guys, I'm bringing you my list. Better yet, scratch that. I'm bringing the list. This is all you need guaranteed to smell your best for spring 2024 and beyond. So I don't want to hold this list up any more than I have to. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the juice. First up on the list from the house of Mancera, we have Jardine Exclusive. Jardine Exclusive. Honestly, I can tell you that when I first purchased this fragrance, uh, it was nothing special to me. Uh, I wasn't blown away by it, but um, today I could tell you something totally different. Just an absolute banger. I mean a banger. Guys, so some of the main accords you're going to get in this fragrance um, is pear, green apple, white peach, and white musk. So overall, what you're going to get in this DNA, guys, we're talking about sweet, uh, fresh, airy, um, powdery. Guys, this is a sexy, inviting, and just irresistible DNA. This is what I envision uh, walking through a mall in Paris would smell like. Um, if you have Amber Oud Gold, if you have Zerzhov's Herba Pure, uh, this will put you in that same category as both of those fragrances. Uh, so you want to keep that in mind. Um, by the House of Mancer, this is Jardine Exclusive. Next up on the list in the number nine slot by the House of Parfums de Marley, we're talking about Percival. Parfums de Marley, Percival. All right. Man, listen. <laughs> listen, when I tell you guys this is all you need to smell your absolute best, trust your boy. Some of the main accords you're going to get in this fragrance is Mandarin Orange, Bergamot, Tonka Bean, and Pink Pepper. Uh, so we're talking about fresh, citrusy, spicy, uh, refreshing. Uh, this is a DNA that's inoffensive. And honestly, guys, this is one of those ice-breaking conversation starters right here. Uh, you got to get your nose on this fragrance if you've never experienced this juice, guys. I'm telling you. It's going to do something to the people around you. By the House of Parfums, De Marley, this is Percival. All right, next up on the list, by the House of Bond number nine, we're talking about Liberty Island. Liberty Island. When it comes to those prestigious uh, fragrance brands or companies or houses, Bond number nine has to be in that conversation. Uh, it's just something that they represent. There's a, there's a certain type of stamp or signature uh, that they have when we're talking about the fragrance community, guys. So uh, I don't want to over talk it, but when we're talking about Liberty Island, some of the main accords you're going to get in this one is Orange Blossom Absolute. Uh, this has some marshmallow in it. Also, you get some musk and some black currant. All right, so we're talking about fruity. This is fresh powdery it's creamy this is intoxicating this is seductive and man listen this is a downright beautiful dna um literally a tropical island in a bottle get your nose on this fragrance and do it right now all right next up on the list should be number seven in the slot from the house of ysl east saint laurent we're talking about myself this is YSL myself. Whew. Listen, <laughs> I don't mean this when I say this, but this has to be a fragrance that they made for that self-centered individual, uh, that man who knows or believes he is it. 
You understand what I'm saying, guys? It's called myself. So if you don't think anything about yourself, this fragrance is not for you. You understand me? Um, but some of the main accords you're going to get in this fragrance is Calabrian Bergamot. Uh, we're talking about Orange Blossom and Patchouli. Fresh, woody, citrusy, sweet. It's refined. Guys, this DNA is pleasant. It's extremely, extremely, extremely sexy. One of the best designer houses on the market. Um, I'm not even gonna say that's debatable. One of the greatest designer houses on the market is YSL, and they knocked this one out the park. All right, next up on the list, from the house of Zaharoff, we're talking about Coco Loco. This is Coco Loco. Now, um, I'm a little proud of myself. I was absolutely one of the first to cover this fragrance, to review it. Um, I think it got a lot of hype, a lot of attention, uh, and, and I'm gonna say it was worth it. Um, it's worthy of the attention that it did garner. Um, if you like tropical fruity fragrances, look no further, guys. Uh, some of the main accords you're gonna get in this one is pineapple, coconut, uh, and then also we have some vanilla, all right? This is fresh, it's sweet, it's powdery, it's fruity. Uh, this DNA is amazing, it's exotic, and it's just a very smooth, tropical DNA. Um, some people have said this reminds them of Creed's Virgin Island Water. I could see why they say that. Uh, not a clone by any means, most definitely not a clone, but from the House of Zaharoff, this is Coco Loco. All right, guys, so allow me to do just something a little bit different. Just something, I wanna see who really rocking with your boy out there. I wanna see who really, really, really is rocking with Mr. Kingston. So if you made it to this part of the video, I want you to type, I'm here. I don't care if it's all caps, low caps. I just wanna see who really is out there rocking with your boy. Salute to you. All right, next up on the list, by the house of Dior, we have Dior Om Cologne. This is Dior Om Cologne. All right, there's many, many, many flankers um, in this lineup. All well uh, deserved, all well worth it. Um, this is just one of the ones that's, it's, it's one of my favorites, man. Guys, listen, uh, Calabrian Bergamot, Grapefruit Blossom and White Musk are some of the main accords you're gonna get in this fragrance. Um, this is fresh, this is spicy, uh, this is citrusy, this is refreshing, this is refined, and guys, this is absolutely sophisticated. This is for that sophisticated individual. I'm talking about somebody who has a dress up job, you have a dress casual uh, position, whether casual or suited and booted. Uh, this is just one of those fragrances. Um, fresh, frozen, slushy lemonade at a carnival or a food truck rally or some type of just outdoor event. Guys, that's what this fragrance, that's the type of um, scent memory or experience this gives me uh, every time I smell it. Absolutely mouth-watering goodness in this bottle, man. Almost gourmand. Almost gourmand and by the house of Dior. This is Dior on Cologne. We're in the top five, baby, and this is number four. By the house of Parfums de Marley, we're talking about Layton. This is Parfums de Marley Layton. Man, listen, this one, it don't need no introduction, man. If you're watching this video uh, and you never smelled this DNA or even a clone to it, you are really doing yourself a disservice. Um, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> when I tell you this is a certified GOAT, this is a certified GOAT, one of them, all right? I'm not saying this is the greatest fragrance of all time, but it's one of the greatest fragrances of all times. So if anybody wants to argue or fight about it, you send them over here to King Sense. Some of the main cores you're gonna get in this fragrance is apple, vanilla, 
cardamom. Also, you get a little bit of guyac wood. So we're talking about spicy, fruity, uh, fresh, woody. It's regal. We're talking about opulence. This is rich. And this DNA I just find to be very hypnotic. I really, I really mean that. I really, really mean that, guys. Uh, from the house of Parfum Wednesday Marley, we're talking about late. Next up in the number three slot, from the house of Creed, we're talking about silver mountain water. This is silver mountain water. You got to say it slow like that, baby. Got to say it slow. Um, shout out to the homie Big Beer Business. Uh, he calls this Mr. Steal Your Wife. All right, that's the name he gave it. Um, hey, it is what it is. Uh, this is a fragrance that I'm gonna say might cause some problems, all right? Um, so main accords you're gonna get in this one is green tea, mandarin orange, and then also you got a little sandalwood. So we're talking about some creaminess going on in here. But overall, we're talking about citrusy, uh, spicy, fresh, slightly herbal, Guys, this is refined, this is smooth, this is debonair, and we're just talking about overall an intoxicating DNA. Extremely intoxicating. Uh, I'm gonna say one of, one of the House of Creed's greatest creations to date. You gotta get your nose on this fragrance if you haven't tried it, man. You're really missing out. That's Silver Mountain Water. All right, guys, next up in the number two slot, man. Creed does it again. From the house of Creed, we're talking about Aventus Cologne. Aventus Cologne. I think Irwin Creed calls it Colonia. I like that. Creed Aventus Colonia. Man, such a magnificent creation I have in my hand. Um, <laughs> Guys, we're talking about ginger, vetiver, mandarin orange. Uh, we're talking about perfection, man. Uh, overall, this DNA is woody. It's fresh. Got a little bit of smokiness going on in here. It's sweet. Guys, this fragrance is luxurious. Uh, this fragrance is elite. We're talking about elite. And this is phenomenal. Just a phenomenal phenomenal DNA man I don't know how they did it I don't care how they did it I just need the house of Creed to keep doing it man because they're on a the roll right now man with the, the last couple fragrances even the ladies fragrance they've been bangers I need them to keep it coming I love it man Creed Aventus Cologne actually I want to say this too before it's all said and done this might dethrone the original all right, coming in at the number one slot, baby. This is number one right here. This is numero uno. From the house of Louis Vuitton, we're talking about La Amicite. This is La Amicite. And let me get a moment of silence while I smell this fragrance. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Man, I'm trying to tell you guys, I ain't never smelled nothing like this one, man. Do not buy this fragrance and expect to feel the same way that I do, all right? There's a strong possibility that you will feel the exact same way, but that's just something that I cannot guarantee. But guys, this is number one for me, hands down. We're talking about grapefruit, ginger, watery notes, and guys, this also has some amber going on in here. This is fresh, woody, citrusy. It's aquatic. It's classy. It's refined. It's complete. When I say it's complete, I mean, guys, this is a complete fragrance. Uh, this is hypnotic. This is rich. and just exquisite on all levels on all levels man guys every time i smell this dna this fragrance it is it's like it it 
takes my nose and it teleports me um, and completely takes me on this journey somewhere, man. Um, and I can only imagine where it takes other people when they smell it on me. But guys, this that's the power of this fragrance. That is the power of fragrances in general. Uh, but right now we're talking about the number one and this is La Amicite. Um, if you're looking for a fragrance that has the power, it possesses the power to be able to take people's nose on a journey. You need this fragrance. You need this fragrance, guys. Shout out to the house of Louis Vuitton, man. Um, you know, a uh, designer house. They, they would be more like a niche designer, but they're a designer house at the end of the day uh, that they really um, just came in and, and shook up Fragcom uh, with the many fragrances that they've been releasing, guys. They really, uh, to me, um, they really dove straight to the top of the list. I'm not saying they're number one, but they, they're they they're up there. Uh, they are up there. They they want all the smoke. I mean, they have some bangers. Love, uh, uh, Meteor, um, Afternoon Splash, um, Imagination. I mean, I can keep going on. They have some bangers, uh, some complete hits. So... Uh, but anyway, guys, that is my top 10 list for spring 2024. Uh, we will not be compromised. We will not debate. We will not argue about what's not on the list, what didn't make the list. There's a lot of great fragrances out here. Um, but for me, right now, um, in this day and time, you know, these are my top 10 that I'm looking to enjoy this coming spring for 2024. Um, if you have some of these fragrances on the list, Let's talk about it, man. Uh, also, give us your top five down below in the comment sections for spring. Name some of your top elite fragrances uh, that you're looking to wear and get some uses out of this coming spring, man. But any fragrance on this list is guaranteed to have you feeling your best and also smelling your best. Now, looking your best, that's your part to do. All right, so I recommend everybody get your nose on some of these fragrances, if not all, all right? So until the next time, be blessed, be safe, and Mr. King Sense is out.